and I'll let it lay there. And when that, when I think that they are, they're in the eyesight of that feet, I'll jig it, just a little tip jig off of my fly rod. Mm -hmm. And they'll and invariably they'll just then they'll start moving. They start moving. Strip strips right in. Now you. we won't. We try not to pass cast past the fish. We try to avoid having our flies come at the fish. Well, I don't like that's that's if the fish is coming at you. you and you come up from behind it, you're going to spook it, or you're going to line it. Mm -hmm. I always like a fish going the other way, but I've caught a lot of fish coming at me also. Again, it's the same principle. Throwing the fly in the direction, a couple foot in front of them, where you don't spook them, letting them get up a little jig, and hoping they're going to turn. I got you. Instead of, and that, instead, of it's, instead of having a scenario where the bait fish is charging the predator, you get out in front of it, let it lay, and just give it a twitch as let if it's it hiding. And it's, right. And got nervous and Anytime them. you come up from behind, normally they're going to spook. Another thing, everybody says, well, once they're spooked, you'll never catch them. And that's a fa fallacy also. A redfish, you may spook that red, he'll make a charge out, and then he'll slow down, and he'll just barely cruise. Again, throw it about three foot in front of the direction he's going, leave it set. When he gets up close, jig it. His brain doesn't think that way. No, he's he's, he's a predator, he's there to eat, and hey, there's, there's, there's pancakes yeah. on the table. Can you show? three flies here and just to explain your desire for the color. I, I, I don't, don't pin me down. Okay, the that's fine. I'm just saying just for just for right. time's sake. Uh, your, let's go to your go-to fly if you have your sun and tide conditions. Well, let's just use here. This, there's a fly right here that we call it an attractor mud minute. We do it in a natural Sharp. We didn't, you know, all the basic five, base five basic colors. You can also take them and take a marking and make it have mud and menace stripes on it if you want to. We also take deer hair and make it weedless. I don't like mono. I don't like wire weedless, and this is proved for extremely productive. And I have not missed part of any fish. Are you putting any glue in the hair? I don't put any glue on. I do put a little. You just a little, wrap it. Uh, no, I put that stuff I, you can get from Walmart. I can't even think of the name of it. Yeah, it's just a little uh, that they use for. And people could get these at Spirit uh, River Fly? Is that? These flies are, they can't get them at Spirit River, but you can get it from their dealers. Okay, got fly it. Fly fishing dealers. Okay. It's called the, this is called the Attractor Mud Minnow. Okay. We have an, 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 and then, as it, uh, there's, here's one in a, in an earth zone cutter with a mud minnow. And, orange. and the famous numero uno. The numero uno. We're Here is the numero uno. This is this is the, the fly. This is the fly that has set about four world records. It's got twister tails. We use different tails on it, different materials because if you have toothy fish like piggies, uh, they're going to chew that off. The one that caught the big trout was black like this. It had had twister tails on it. This is called a full beard. This, the other one I showed you is a cut beard. And I see a lot of them size two and size four hooks. And that's and that's a basic shrimp imitation. Basic shrimp. It could be taken for shrimp. It could be taken for crab almost. And this this, this fight this got snook, it's got tarpon, it's got bonefish, it's got permit, it's got every damn thing out there. Okay. Just a stupid looking basically. It's got all know, somebody it's got made all one eggs. similar to this <laughs> as a bass fly and I saw it. And man, that yeah. and then I I've taken the you know, we have one like that we call a uh, Mardi Gras Charlie. Yeah. And on a deer hair, I like a deer hair popper. Mm -hmm. Also, I like I like uh, to use wool head in the same manner. Yesterday, I got I got a nice big whole sheep head on one, on one just like this. Like a mullet fly. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, I use it a lot of wool. I use a lot of wool. Uh, the wool head mullet is a fly I really like. Another neat deal is to take old discarded. Uh, skirts from offshore fishermen. Fly this simple, and I've got. You can use lead eyes, or you can use uh, whatever for an eye. Uh, this is a deadly fly, and again, I've taken snook, sheephead, almost everything on. It's simple. It shoots like a bullet. It, it's, it's, it's a, a good cast and fly. Oh, it casts tremendously. And all it is is just uh, sand deal type. And here is a here's a fly. Very simple. This is deer hair 
You can use you can use bucktail for the back or synthetic, whatever you want. Right, I can I take it, this on? Yeah, I, like I put it. a little piece of foam on the front. That's a, I love fishing top water, but a foam top water in shallow water, a big trout or a big red will wake it. You can't catch it sometimes. You mix some deer hair in there with it, and it'll hug the water better. You get to create creates a better opportunity to catch it. And if, it moves water and floats better than just a deer. Yeah, pop, definitely so. does. There's another one just again. Then I like what's called a slider fly too. This I could this I could This fly. is a little hairy, but I I use this out fishing for tarpon. That big oh, for tarpon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's talk just a moment about color combinations. Do you think that colors are overrated? Do you think color color is under misunderstood? No, I mean I think basically color has its place. Uh, I'm not a racist on color flies. I <laughs> gotcha. So I use any anything and everything. My, I have about five colors I stick to. I'm very strong on black, black and orange, black white, black chartreuse, and solid black. Uh, I'm, I like I like your rust flies, your you know of this color. Right. Uh, I like chartreuse. There's there again is an imitation of it has your black and your Orange. weed guard and then it's got chartreuse. Right. Very beautiful color. So I like better. It's pretty very good. So simple is better. A little chenille. Very good. A little pistol chenille. Yeah. And these are That's just musty head hooks. That was good. Yeah. That's never been done before. You can't fit the hard. It's hard to find on the fly.